Uh, welcome to Jinobin Music today. Uh, my name is U Mike. I'm a musician from GGA, the good guys. And you? Okay, before introducing myself, actually, I'd love to thank Jinobin Music today for hosting me. It's really a great pleasure. My name is Veronica Nyando Steven Banmut, a 20 years old student at Stafford International University pursuing bachelor degrees in economics. Okay, is it first time to contest in Miss Bantu or you did it before? Uh, I can say this is my first time to contest in Mr. and Mrs. Bantu, but that doesn't mean that I've not contested in any other beauty pageant because I tried my first beauty pageant when I was in college. The second one, Mr. Uh, Ms. Jinubia and the rest. And then that's when I realized Mr. and Mrs. Bentu is the perfect beauty pageant for me to contest. Wow. Okay, tell us your experience and the challenge you have faced from your journey. The first challenge that I faced, uh, remember, I used to have this mindset whereby I say being a model is being fat. and It's not being fat. I have to be slim. But I came to realize being a model is all about leadership. I didn't have that confidence in mind. That's why I had that mindset. So what inspired you to contest for Miss Bantu South Sudan? Ah, thank you for that question. I can say a lot. First thing is culture. I really love our culture. And I really love to associate with our Bantu people. Those are the main. Uh, why do you think you deserve the crown more than the rest? I can actually say because I'm confident and my project was unique because I've been working on that project since I have like three years now. I believed in myself because confidence is the great key. And secondly, actually, I'm a great leader. That's why not only me, I deserve, but I think all the contestants called because we are all competing there to be leaders. Thank you. Wow, that's good. So, what was your feeling when the crowd were shouting, saying, number nine, number nine, instead of number eight, which is you? Uh, I was actually nervous. That was the worst experience that I experienced. But I knew, you know, every competition, there must be a winner. So, if she could have got it, I could be happy. She's my sister. And now I got it, she's also my sister. She's supporting me in every way. So, I was that nervous. Really, really, I, I, I saw that, I saw that. Okay, um, uh, that, that's, this question I'm going to ask here uh, is number seven. What, what is your vision as a Miss Bentu winner of 2023 and 2024? My vision, actually, uh, uh, let me go straight to Mr. and Mrs. Bentu company and organization. My vision is to see young girls being leaders and even young men and I want them to gain that courage and confidence whereby they see that they have leaders in their minds and their hearts. So leadership is everything. Okay, uh, what do you have to say about Miss Bentu Beauty Foundation? Actually Miss Bentu is an organization whereby it helps youth to gain their courage and help them to achieve their goals. Through Ms. Bantu, I know how to drive. It's not that I'm bragging, but I know through Ms. Bantu because they were training us driving. I learned communication skills, confidence, and associating with others. Okay, that's good. I'm going to ask you the final question, okay? I, finally, what is your message to the Bantu people? This message goes to all Jinobins. Let's find a middle ground of understanding each other by being kind and loving each and everyone because at the end of the day we are one wow, thank you. wow that's great uh thank you for joining us on the Bean music today uh you're highly welcome congratulations i really appreciate it. thank you thank you you're welcome